Well, Owen's wife, she said maybe get all, uh, out of all this crap, like coming here every week, and we just sat down and talked like civilians. Owen said I'd have him over for a cookout. And I talked to Regina, and she kind of acted funny about uh, it. Regina. What? Regina. Her name's Regina, not Virginia. She lived there all that time, and I've been calling her Virginia because that's what they said her name was. You know, the Mexicans, they, they just don't talk so plain. Bernie's from Puerto Rico, and Regina is Sicilian descent. And the Mexicans, they don't talk so good American. That's how my barbecue got turned into a, a cookout over at their house. I guess barbecue bear wasn't good enough for them. You want to see some seriously weird food, you go over to their place, okay? Got this fried stuff. Hey, don't get me wrong, okay? I'll eat fried anything. A deep fried cigarette button, I'll eat it. But this stuff, God, it tastes like fried tractor gaskets or something. Virgin Virginia. Virginia. Nope. Virginia. Yeah, her. She came up with this dish that was like macaroni and cheese about the macaroni. It tasted so weird. It said it was made of bananas or something, but, you know, I never had bananas except for dessert, and this was supposed to be supper. So I just drank the beer. It wasn't half bad, really. Daughter, she's drinking some cocktail, like a margarita or something. And she starts giving me that look. So anyway, she's giving me that look right in front of them, Barney and Gina. Look, don't correct me, okay? I am calling them what I remember, all right? Barney and Gina. Well, I started thinking I ought to take Dottie home, you know. She was giving me that look, and I had a few beers myself. I want to live up my old standards, which is pretty damn high, I might say. So anyway, I'm going out the door, and Dottie, she says, uh, wants me to remind Barney about paying the rent on Monday. Which I did, and all hell broke loose. Gina started pitching one of her screaming fits and stuff. And just, see, I guess she was under the impression that maybe she, you know, they owned the place. Now, how could she get that all confused? Well, unless and Barney told her they bought the place, but they didn't. Come to think of it, he was there a couple days before she was. Maybe he was supposed to buy a place, but didn't. Well, if he was supposed to buy a place, why didn't he? And what happened to all the money? Why, where, where did he get the money to begin with? Maybe he's running guns across the border. Maybe he was bringing wetbacks into our country. I am tired of people coming to this country and leeching off good American folk. You know how illegal aliens are. You know, they send their, their kids to our schools. Schools my property taxes pay for. And I tell you what, in Panther County, the property taxes are out of control. It was a big old fight. I took Dottie home and she passed out as soon as we hit the porch. So I just left her right there in the porch swing. Well, anyway, I think Barney's still mad at me. You know what? I don't care. I don't need anything from stupid people like them, okay? They can just take the accent and go on home. Olay, y'all.